<sighs> What's good people? We're on our way to go check out the Bandai store in Camden. We're gonna participate in the pirate party event tournament thing, see if we can win something, and we'll see if we can pick something up to open at the shop later in the video as well. So let's go, let's go check it out. It's looking like it's gonna be a wet one as well. So maybe minimal recording outside, but we'll we'll figure it out. Look at that. Gross. So the first thing I recommend you do is get yourself some food before you go. Save yourself some money so that you can spend it on packs rather than spending 20 quid on lunch. Second thing is you're gonna travel. I think unless you live in Camden, you're gonna travel. It's gonna be busy as, try not to do it during rush hour times, but you probably will end up doing it. So just prepare yourself for that. Also, if you've got time, stop in at this shop on the way, Miniso, it's got a bunch of like One Piece and anime related paraphernalia, if you will. And uh, yeah, checked out some little plush, got Zoro, Luffy, my boy Chopper over there. Also got figures and a bunch of Pokemon stuff as well. Uh, they had uh, this cool wall of drinks. I thought, uh, might as well grab, grab one. Gengar's my G, so I'll grab one of those. Also had to grab a chopper. I've got a baby on the way, if you didn't know, so that's, that's going to be my first present to her. Then we got into Camden Market, which is a beautiful place. I'm pretty sure it's been open for like since the 1800s or something crazy like that. So there's a lot of history there as well. We got ourselves to the Bandai store finally. Oh, what a store, man. As soon as we got in, I just noticed that there was like a thousand gachapon machines or whatever they're called. I wish I had like some spare, spare cash just to see if I could get some more little one piece bits and bobs. Uh, the staff there were amazing as well, like helpful, showing you where to go, where things are. Showed me that upstairs was where the One Piece stuff was, and oh, this, this it just did not disappoint. Spotted. Now, annoyingly, they didn't have any of this stuff for sale. They were clean sold out. They only had OPO4 boosters, but it was nice just to, to see it, and the displays were pretty cool, as you can see. One day I'm gonna have one of these in my yard. 100%, I need it. Also, another thing, I didn't even know that they had these, but the store was full of like statues and figures. Like this little Zorro one, 100% I want that in my collection one day. Um, I would say they were on the price, a lot of them were on the pricier side. Um, one particular, one in particular, this NL that I'm about to show here, 500 quid for that. Don't get me wrong, amazing, but very much outside of my uh, tax bracket. <laughs> and my babes. <laughs> oh, 480 quid. Oh, yeah, that would be 480 quid well spent if I, have it, if I had it, not gonna lie. As you can see on the right there, they did have a couple of starter decks. I think they had starter deck eight and nine maybe, or maybe just eight. And then this wall of uh, cards I thought was just amazing. Uh, I was trying to figure out which ones I had, which ones I didn't have, and I had surprisingly I had quite a lot of them actually. But yeah, I thought these were these were pretty sick, just the way they were displayed uh, right next to the cashier desk. How strong is this glass, do you reckon? I reckon I could do it. <laughs> Jeez. I don't think I've actually seen them in person. That's the one I really wanted, man. Ain't gonna happen. Maybe when I win the lottery. Right, it's a little bit noisy in here, but I'm at the Bandai Camden store. The staff are really nice here. I uh, came to play a couple games. Also got some packs to open. So we'll smash through those. It's a little bit noisy in here, but we'll just smash some packs. Where do I get my refund? <laughs> I never get luck from loose packs, man. I should have chosen myself. 
Then played a couple practice games, played a, played an NL mirror match. I'll tell you why that's funny later. Got given the promo and these little prom promo packs, which just had, uh, I think they're like slight alternate arts to other printed cards. Like they're basically the same card with a slightly alternate art, but I thought they were cool. Slip the killer into my uh, Corazon deck. Here's another NL mirror match, which again, I thought was quite funny. And then another mirror match that I actually played in the tournament later. I thought that was crazy. But yeah, it was, it was super funny. We played three games in the tournament at the end and my first two games were mirror matches which was an absolute nightmare. I actually lost them both. I saw the time ticking down and the game was going on, so I just started getting aggressive, which was eventually my <laughs> my downfall. And then I think I played this guy on the left uh, for my last game, which I won. I think he was playing Zoro, so kind of wasn't even really fair. Uh, actually, at the en end of the video, I'll open the promotional packs and stuff that I got from that. But yeah, met some... Met some great people there uh, that I'll definitely be seeing again. And yeah, it, just in general, it was, a, it was a really good day out. And I'd, I'd recommend to any One Piece players who play already or anyone who wants to get into the game to, to pop down for sure. Like I said, the staff are lovely. Look, everyone's still here after the tournament. Trades, playing games, like just hanging out. There's loads to do around as well. So yeah, 100% recommend go down to the store check it out also if anyone knows where i can get one of these please let me know so like i said we got given one of those i think that was for being at the pirate party I'm pretty sure so that's pretty cool also with each i think with each booking or with each event that you go to you get given a pack so like the cost of it is the price of a pack and they give you a pack so you're not really paying for the tournament or anything. You're pretty much just paying for a pack. So yeah, got that and a pack for per thing. Got given this at the end of the tournament. Someone said that you can sell these for a decent chunk of change. I've got no intention of doing that really, but if that's your thing, then I guess you can do that. But we'll we'll cut this open, see what see what's inside. I'm assuming it's a bunch of reprints, and I'm hoping that I need some of them. So we've got the film Uta, another film card. Okay, so it's got the Gordon in it. That's pretty good. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. All right. I understand. Yeah, these these are all these are all good cards. I think I've got a lot of these, but I think I bought them all. So I'm actually, I'm actually quite happy about that. Nice, not bad. Yeah, they're, they're all worth like a good couple, couple of quid each, I'm pretty sure. Then we got this, Tournament Pack Volume 5. Now this is just ev like all participants get one of these, I'm pretty certain. Let's see what I got. Got a seven cost kid there. Yeah, decent. Little binder, binder fodder. Don't think it's usable. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, nice little card. Still though, the thing I'm most gassed about today is getting this little dude. I've been speaking to my wife, or well, speaking to my wife, I've been telling my wife I'm gonna get our little baby a chopper doll. And then I saw this, I was like, I have to buy that. It was a bit steep, it was 20 something quid, but I think that's that's priceless for my little baby girl. Little gift. Ah! And thought I'd check this drink out real quick. This, three quid. Again, that's probably out of my tax bracket for, for a little fizzy drink, but. Ooh, I tell you what. I tell you what, that bangs. Right, I'm gonna go finish this in peace and I'll see you lot on the next one in a bit.